There is an exciting new upscale option available in mid-journey and I, for one, am so excited! <laughs> So let's hop into Discord and see what all the fuss is about. David H has announced that they are testing a new upscaler on Midjourney. It is extremely high resolution, 50% more than the current max upscale. And it works in the relax mode, which is great if you don't want to use up all of your fast hours. It stays extremely close to the original image, so it doesn't add any changes or extra features. It is clean, smooth and subtle. It will not fix defects in your original image. For example, bad eyes or in low resolution remain bad in the high resolution. And it never adds grunge or dirt details. You've got to add it with text prompts if you want it. And they are the extra pieces of grain and this sort of mucky, grungy feel that you get sometimes when you upscale to the max. There are a couple of caveats that are mentioned by David, and he says that it won't do well with cartoons or photos, but it does work very well with landscapes, paintings, and pencil drawings. I've been experimenting with this new upscaler and I'd love to show you some of the things that I've learned. First of all, I want to show you the quickest way to use it when you're in mid-journey and that is after you have created an image and upscaled it, you have the options to beta upscale or redo. So let me show you how that works in mid side of mid-journey. Once you've upscaled an initial image, you then have this new option, which is beta upscale redo. And all you have to do is click on it and it will apply the new upscale method to your image. So let me show you a few examples of how this has worked for me. This was upscaled to the max and this one is using the new upscaler. And as you can see with a portrait, it is not working so well, but you do get a much larger image with smoother skin, for example. Here on this more cosmic abstract painting, the original image upscaled to the max uh, had a lot of detail and grunge and gritty textures. You can see the number of stars and flickering paint lights here. Compare that to using the new upscale method and we can see that it is, it is smoother, it is subtler. It has less details, but it has created a very high resolution image. You can see that this one is 3200 by 1280, where using the original max upscale method, it just went up to 2560 by 1024. So you can see that's a, a pretty large increase in the number of pixels that you get. So here's a cool one where I see it working well with these painted, more um, abstract rather than realistic images. It is functioning extremely well, especially if you haven't got some very specific features that you want to be using. For example, uh, human faces. I've found that it works well with landscapes and with pencil drawings. And you can see here, it's created this uh, much flatter uh, version of the image. It's got less detail, but it still has created quite an enthralling effect. It, it's more, mm, yeah, it's definitely taking a more graphic feel, a graphic printed feel. It's almost like vectorized. I mean, it'd be very easy to now vectorize this image and use it in that circumstance and you wouldn't be losing any of this, these quite uh, intense details, which are not always what you're looking for. And here we have another illustrated image that's working very well with the new upscale method. So there it is. This is the new upscale method we have available in Midjourney. It allows you to create much higher resolution images but it loses some of the details and textures. If you're looking to use it on illustrated, painted, abstract landscapes, it's gonna work really well. But when you're using it for photorealistic or very fine features on human faces, it's not performing as well. I think it's a great addition to the tool set we have available mid-journey and I'm very excited to make some more lovely art. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not whack the like button and the subscribe button and leave me a comment. Oh my God. If you do all three, I will have a heart attack. And uh, yeah, why not stick around and check out some more videos on AI art. I hope you have had a delightful day.